The big question remains, will there be a time when it's too late to stack silver? Will people miss the boat if they aren't stacking right now? What's up you guys, it's Ocean here. If you've been watching my channel for a while and you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a thing. I'm gonna start off by saying, with precious metals, it's safe to put the cart before the horse. Because this is actually real money, and silver and gold are highly liquid assets. Right now, we're in a pause for the Fed funds rate, but we're anticipating a Fed rate pivot so a change from rising interest rates to start very slowly lowering rates. The outcome will be less attractive bond investments. It can be from investors here at home or foreign investors, it really doesn't matter. When other investments pay more while still having comparable risk, we're gonna see the appetite for US investing diminish. This is the point where stackers look at what's happening and follow the money. It's important for silver stackers to know this because this move lowers the US dollar index. Silver and gold start looking real sexy and precious metal demand and premiums start increasing. The reason most people want to lower rates is to take some of the edge off of the cuts in business spending. A lot of people are getting their hours cut back at work right now and it's interesting to look at the spin that's been put on a bad situation to turn it into something a little more palatable. The unofficial recession we're in has been rebranded as a cost of living crisis since labor hasn't risen in line with essential spending. Why do you think everyone wants a tip nowadays? The big question remains, will there be a time when it's too late to stack silver? Will people miss the boat if they aren't stacking right now? Of course, a caveat to this is you'll always be able to stack. It just depends on how much you're willing to pay. It's like how quickly we forget current year American Silver Eagles being over $40 a piece. Sometimes you just need to let the waves roll off your back with silver stacking. And what comes to mind is the core idea that I believe made my channel what it is. This changes the way a lot of people look at stacking, and once you hear it, you can never unhear it. If silver goes to $40, $50, $100 per ounce, and you're looking at taking some profits, why would you sell then? Changing your silver into fiat US dollars can very quickly get you into a situation where you're ass over tea kettle and you aren't able to buy back into precious metals. So don't let your stacking be all for nothing because those profits would just be inflated away in that situation. A little profit taking is reasonable, don't get me wrong, but train your mind and know you aren't going to overdo it. And what I'm advising is hold on to your stack. But to answer the core of that question, is it going to be too late to stack silver? And will that time come in 2024? Considering where precious metals prices should be, I think we'll at least see a modest increase in spot prices this year. Even if I throw a reasonable, very subdued prediction out there, something like $27 silver and $2,300 gold, when that time comes, won't you wish you stacked more today? You may look at those prices, especially the silver price, and think, eh, that's not too bad. But don't forget the premium. The premiums on top of those spot prices, especially if you're not wanting to just stack buffaloes and generic bars, is something very hard to take a stab at. Premiums are hard to predict. The big bullion dealers are going to drive premiums whenever they can. And more than ever, local coin shops are falling in line with what online retailers are charging. From what I'm seeing, all dealers are getting more ingrained in the matrix and developing similar pricing. That makes it harder to find deals for sure. I look at stacking and rising spot prices like a form of shrinkflation. As time goes on, you can still stack, but you can't stack as much. By no means am I saying, run out and dump all of your money into silver right now. But we've seen this, even just thinking back like two years ago. I wish I loaded up on more $20 silver. Nothing I can do about it now, but I'm stacking what I can now 
before my option is $40 silver. Even then, I'll continue to buy, but realize you're in the good old days even if they aren't as good as what you remembered in the past. Get it while the getting's good, because in 20, 30 years from now, 100 ounces may look like a massive stack, at least when you're thinking in terms of US dollars. At present time, I like American Silver Eagles, Maples and Britannias have been solid, uh, at least for the last couple years, and buy a little gold when you can fit it into the stacking budget. You guys know my guilty pleasure is vintage silver rounds like many of these here. And I hunt for those. I don't buy every rarities or Inglehard or silver trade unit that I see. The price still needs to make sense as well. And knowing the market on vintage silver has shown me many of these old silver rounds have an inelastic demand in respect to price. And the prices keep rising. But stackers, they just want to collect these old rounds. So vintage is just one of my favorite types of silver to stack, and it's really a market that's all its own. I always advise that everyone stack what they like, because longevity of your stacking career is probably the single biggest indicator of success. That in stacking as early as possible. So get started and stack wide as the ocean.